Man, before I even get into what I really want to get into, I got to address some of you lost fools out here that I, I, I kind of feel like really y'all just want the position that I am in where y'all don't even understand that I don't even want to be in this position. Um, let me just say it. Like, I feel like all the comments that I've been getting about death threats, every time I see a comment about a death threat or something like that, I, I click on a page, I want to go and I want to see who's talking. Every single time I click on it, I go on a page, man, there's somebody with a YouTube page, there's somebody with a, a YouTube following, very small following, talking about the same things that I'm talking about, but they get mad at me, they come on, oh, you need to get dealt with, like, bro. Why y'all feel like the need to to want, like that That just shows y'all the emotion, the spirits that I got evoking, that I got out there going crazy when, when, I, when I raised my voice to speak. I'm speaking more life into people than they ever got spoken to and they still wishing death on me. It's hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to, to what I really want to talk about. I ain't really gonna get a fool's too much attention for real. What I really wanted to talk about was Baylo, King Von cousin. Real name, Mishan, but he go by Baylo. Now, I know Mishan. Got stories with Mishan. Uh, I ain't going to give no stories here today, but I just want to talk about a couple of the things that they talked about. If y'all seen his interview on Mogul Media, him and his cousin. It was interesting. So, Von was shot eight times. Go by them. Von was shot eight times. They say Von was shot eight times. We all seen the video. My boy was shot. It looked like he was shot one time in the video, one time. So we gotta we gotta ask these questions. If he was actually shot eight times, then did, did they did they shoot him after what we had seen, or was that what we seen fake? Questions to ask yourself. Also, if you watch the interview with Baylo. See, if you pay attention and, and you ask God for that wisdom, for that eye that, you know, to see the world and to see things the way he sees them, you would ask yourself, when Balo said, oh, when they first seen King Von, um, when they first seen Von, uh, autopsy picture two days after his death, his mom hadn't seen it. That should have made y'all question. I thought somebody had to give a say for an autopsy to be, you know, given. I thought that, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not always going to be right. But I feel like nine times out of 10, your family has to request an autopsy to be done in order for one to be done. The fact that they just did that dropped and then the pictures came out with so little time. That mean that was an insider job. Those that was inside. Von died and then two days after that, pictures were released. That was an insider job. It had to be. Y'all need to understand that these labels, they don't play. And if you don't follow within their ranks and you don't listen to what they want to do, they will make an example out of you and they will show that to the world. Look at Joan Rivers for, for an example. I don't know. A lot of y'all probably don't know Joan Rivers. She was a white lady who came out and she spoke about um, like the U.S. already having its first black gay president, which was Barack Obama. She was claiming that Michelle was a transgender. Um, like right after that, they killed her. Go look up how, go look up the ways in which how they will kill you and then show it off to the world or you know explain to the world how you died just so people who are in the same occult will know what happened to you based off what you did. See, when you ask God for discernment and you ask God to see the world differently than, a, than the regular human being through the flesh, all the signs and all these questions will start to arise to you. So that's why, I, and somebody told me to um, make my video shorter. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start bringing small little Bible scriptures. I'm gonna talk right here, bring, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring them out. I'm gonna bring some little ones out that I ain't gonna make it super long. But yes, I'm, I am gonna have my uh, hood preacher series because I know a lot of people like to come, they like to engage in that. But I, for you who can't engage into the longer one, don't, when you can't make it and you don't wanna stay to watch the longer videos, I'll make shorter, I'll, I'll try to shorten it up and I'll try to do that. But I'll just try to, you know, speak like five minutes on one particular, uh, verse or one particular scripture that I've meditated on that I've talked about with my peers that you know I feel comfortable enough that I have the message that God wanted me to get to give to y'all so again man I appreciate y'all but again think about that man think about what I just said bro with, with, with and, and one thing I'm not trying to really go off of topic 
I really just want y'all, like, they don't speak for Vonda in terms of who he loved. I don't speak for Vonda in terms of who he loved. I never said I spoke for him in terms of who he loved. Uh, if you watch people speak long enough, they tell on themselves. Balo tried to go on about how, but that, I'm really gonna get into that. I'm gonna make another video about that because I want y'all specifically to understand that they said that this man was shot eight times. His family said that they were shot eight times, so they really know. But what we see in the news, so the news media and everybody had to lie because they said that Vern was shot one time. We saw it on a video, it looked like he was only shot one time. So who was lying? Who was in control of this narrative and why are they lying to us? And like, what's the real truth? Because who, well, I didn't, it didn't look like Vaughn was shot eight times on video. So if he was shot eight times, he was shot seven more times when they took him away. I mean, like, you got to ask yourself this thing, these things and think about it. Because to me, it's very questionable. And I love my brother. And, and those for y'all that don't understand, bro, I was on old block. I've been on for nine years. I, not nine years. I, I was over there since I was nine years old. I can speak on anything from up over there. Please stop opening up y'all mouth to tell me that I can't open up my mouth to talk about my own hood. Talking about, are you trying to get fame off old block? Nigga, I'm from old block. So if any fame come from me preaching a word about my hood, that where I am from, nigga, I'm, I, I was there way longer than Vaughn. Y'all worship, y'all worship niggas that y'all, y'all know in the streets, bro. You ain't have to know me. That's my hood. That's really my hood. I don't gotta talk to y'all or I don't gotta explain all this to y'all, but that's my hood. I've been over there since I was nine. You hear what I'm saying? I was over there before it was cool, all that. And nigga, I, when I left, I, I still was coming back when I graduated. So don't get it twisted. Y'all don't know me and stop coming over here thinking y'all know me, bro. Most of y'all don't know me, bro. All y'all know is what y'all see in the, in the, on YouTube, bro. I know facts. Y'all, y'all hear, y'all hearsay. And y'all run with hearsay and make it seem like y'all know somebody. Stop telling me I can't speak on Vaughn. That's my homie. When the dead is dead, ain't nothing waking them up. Voices from, from, from this world ain't waking them up. What he did, how he lived his life, he will forever be talked about. He made that bed, he had, that's what it is. And I love my boy, but I ain't made realist. Y'all want me to get out here and cry because y'all idol worship the niggas that I know and y'all think that I supposed to idol worship them. Nah. But at the end of the day, man, think about it. Go look at the video in which the Baylo on mobile media, man. And, and and if you ain't got that discernment, you're going to always be lost out here, bro. So I, tru I truly pray for y'all. I pray for the God. Open y'all eyes so that y'all can see the world the way it really is, for real.